Hey everybody, it's Denise for Each Town Theater World, and this is my review of Mean Girls. Ooh. This is based on the movie of the same name by renowned actor and screenwriter Tina Fey, who wrote this movie back in 2004. It is a cult classic, lots of pop culture references to this movie, and now in a musical form. So let's get started. Now, this musical was brought to us by the Hobby Center at the Performing Arts, where I got to see it. It would, I will give you a short synops synopsis of it, synopsis of it, can't say that word. And here we go. It is about a 16-year-old girl named Katie who has to grow up in a way during her junior year of high school. But the thing is, Katie actually grew up in Africa for a while, and then she, her parents decided to move her back to the United States. She meets two artists that become her schoolmates, Janice and Damien, who are actually our narrators for this musical, who tell us about what's going on and help Katie out as well in Needed. But soon Katie meets these three girls part of this clique called the Plastics. And they form the meanest girls in high school to where they will backstab you, say negative condescending comments to your face. You have Regina George, who's the leader or what they consider the apex predator. And yes, that is a song that is used to describe her. And then you have Gretchen Wieners and Karen Smith, those both girls have their own unique, unique personalities where Gretchen always wants attention from Regina and Karen's stupid, basically. That's how they come across. And you see how their dynamic changes or plays out when Katie decides to be a little bit more too curious for her own good. So let's get started on this review. I thought it was really great. I have seen the movie when it first came out and I really enjoyed it. I thought it did a great job depicting or actually fictionalizing what's it like to be a teenage girl here in the States. Um, of course, this is from the point of view of a white teenage girl in the States, just to be a little p politically correct here. Also, I felt the musical was pretty fun. Unfortunately, there are was only one song that I really liked, and that's called I'd Rather Be Me. That was sung by the one of the leads. That would be Janice. I'm not going to say anything more about that, but it's a great song. I know that it has played out in my real life at least twice, unfortunately. So going back to the musical, I thought the sets were very interesting. Uh, they actually projected or had screens as the backdrop to the show, which was pretty cool. And also they put their desks and their lunch tables on wheels, which allowed them to move around to, change, to show that it's a different class or a different orientation, which was nice. And I thought that overall it was a very good show. Um, I thought the singers and the performers of the show did a great job for the show. I think they did great with what they were given. I think everybody was casted perfectly for their role. They did delay the show a little bit when I saw it because of a quick acting change. So one of the swings had to come on or one of the main actors had to with late, we, I don't know, but all I know is that they had to change actors for certain roles. Either way, everyone sang phenomenally for each role. There wasn't an out of pitch. There wasn't a mismatch in any way with the singing, which is great. I thought the writing of the book overall was pretty good. I think that there's dialogue. It's like just small bits of the dialogue in certain parts were like a little bit not worth it. They were like, not cliche, but it wasn't really like clever or witty or necessarily good. <laughs> it's very minor. It's like maybe one sentence here, one sentence there. That's it. Other than that, everything was pretty well done. 
I think having this obnoxious character in there was pretty funny, and I think he was there for the uh, the comic part of the show, which is fine. It's perfectly fine. So yeah, I think it was a really great show. I think going to the Hobby Center to see it was very well done. I saw it in one seating level, and I was able to see everything, which is great. I thought that the drink option was interesting. I did enjoy that they changed a few things from the movie to the story. So we're getting into that right now. So this is going to do my best to be spoiler free of the movie and the show if you haven't seen it. They do perform this one traditional song from the movie that they actually changed in the musical and that is because I of uh, singing right of rights of that song so I guess the musical couldn't use those rights or didn't have the money to use those rights versus the movie was able to probably inflation and such or rights in general I'm not totally clear on that one that was changed also, how certain things were unfolded changed, which worked in the end. Um, in, the, in the musical, it worked for timing, but in the movie, it was funny. It was a funny additive every time that it occurred. What else? And there are a few other differences in regards to how a certain thing happens. So there's one scene in both the movie and both the musical that is portrayed. It one is a car where Damien's driving a car and then but they couldn't have a car on stage, so they had him drive something else. Now this is very funny. I'm not going to go into it cuz I don't want to ruin that for you either, but they did change modes of transportation and I believe the line get in uh, we're going shopping was not in the musical it is in the movie definitely but I don't think it's in the musical and I don't recall hearing it but it's definitely on the merch and I was very tempted to get that shopping bag because I because it fits perfectly and I like that they use that slogan on the merchandise bag anyway I think Again, that's the only differences that I could recall from the show besides the different casting that they use. The hairstyles are very same to the movie, per se. They did give Janice uh, some blonde highlights along with the black hair that she had in the movie. Uh, Damien is still Damien. And, well, he is typically black hair, but of course they casted somebody that probably had different hair color, which is fine. Uh, Katie, they probably used a wig or extensions for her, which is, which worked out. And for the lead actors, they actually changed how they wore their outfits a little bit, but they're still obsessed. And of course, because in 2004, when the movie came out, social media wasn't a thing at all. It was not. They implemented that into the musical, which actually worked out really nicely how they worked that in. Because there's actually a song about wait to post like wait don't just stop just stop so that is the differences between the musical and the movie all right so i thought it was a good musical i think that all the actors did a great job i think all the local performers did a great job i think the production design was a great job of course i only have that one song that i really enjoyed from this musical and if you get a chance to see it go ahead and check it out uh, it may come back to Houston later in life, but as of right now, it's still on tour. This was a national tour. And thanks for watching. And make sure you, again, like, like this video, hit subscribe, hit that notification bell to know when I post more videos. And I hope to see you guys at the next show.